Today I'll be showing you how to install and configure the Anti-Cheat Enterprise Web Interface with Anti-Cheat version 2.0. To be making the install process easier to see, I'll be using a couple of freely available tools, the links to which will be down in the description. The first of these is WinSCP, which is an SCP client for Windows, and the second is MySQL Workbench, which is a cross-platform MySQL administration program. I'm going to be installing the web interface on a local server, which is a Raspberry Pi. It's running Apache 2, MySQL, and Debian. The install process for any Linux server should be relatively similar. The first thing we're going to do is open up MySQL Workbench and create a new database for the plugin to use. We're going to call it Anti-Cheat and go ahead and create the database. We're then going to open up our bucket server and you can see that in the plugins folder I've installed the latest version of anti-cheat.dar. We'll start the server and wait for the server to load and generate the needed configuration files that we'll edit to connect to the database. We can open the enterprise.yml file and we're going to edit the database setting settings to connect to our Raspberry Pi. In my case the hostname is Pi and the username and password are both root for the purposes of this example. In a production setting, you would want to use a non-root user with a secure password. The only other setting I'm going to change is the logging interval, which is going to be 30 seconds instead of one minute. I'm just going to change this so it's easier for the logs to be uploaded and for you to demonstrate what they look like in the interface for you. In a network configuration where you're running multiple servers on the same database, you want to change the server name to be a more identifiable name so you can pick it out when you're viewing logs as a whole. You'll notice also that the config is loading the groups and rules configuration from the database, so we'll address that later. I'll save this file, and then we're going to load the config.yml, and to enable anti enterprise, we're going to change the system enterprise setting to true. We can then reopen the server and reload it. It's going to connect to the database and create the necessary tables. If we query our database again, you can see these tables have been created. And the groups table has been populated with the default groups, but there are no levels or logs yet because nobody has connected to the server. To generate some example logs, I've configured this version of anti-cheat to log things to the console whenever a user swings their arm. In this case, I'll turn on console logging and swing my arm. You can see I'm getting some nofall logs there on the server, and these are going to be uploaded to the enterprise database. So now we'll begin the install process for the web panel so we can easily view these logs and other things. I'm going to open WinSCP and connect to MyPy. I'll navigate to the web root for Apache, which is var www.html. We're now going to go to the anti-cheat enterprise bucket thread, and we'll download the needed files as a zip. We're going to extract all the files inside this website folder onto our web root. So we'll just select them and drag them over. We'll edit the config file to connect to our database. In this case, the MySQL server is running on the same server as this web page, so we'll leave that as localhost. And we'll edit the username and password to both be root, as mentioned earlier. Once that's saved, we can reload our web page. And we have this install interface. I'll make a super admin with the username of admin and a password of admin. Again, in a production setting, please use a secure username and password. We'll click install, and the system will install itself to our web server. Once that's done, we're being asked to remove the install.php file, which we'll do, and then reload our website. In the login box, we'll enter the credentials for the user we just created, hit login, and this is the anti-cheat enterprise 
web interface. We can see the groups and rules are easily configured here. If you want more information on the groups and rules configuration settings, you can view them from the configuration section of the anti-cheat bucket dev page. So that's the setup process of the anti-cheat enterprise web panel. Thank you for watching.